Hey there, Lickin' Riffers! Welcome back to yet another awesome guitar lesson here on Lickin' Riff, in which we continue the slide series. In the previous video, I showed you the slide basics. I showed you the techniques that you need to know in order to play slide. And this video, we're gonna play slide in open G. Open G is D, G, D, G. Okay, D, G, D, G. B and D. Meaning that you tune both E strings down to D and the A string down to G. Okay, then you get open G. Now, um, I showed you the joys of playing both ways, um, playing the guitar upright and playing um, the guitar as a lap uh, slide uh, guitar, okay, which, is, which is a technique that you want to try. With everything that I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you both ways. Okay? So, um, everything that we played in the previous video is applicable on open G. Now, because we were playing, actually, we were playing on the G chord. We were playing everything on strings 2, 3, and 4, which are the same in standard tuning as they are on open G. B, G, and D. Okay? So, everything you did in the previous video, you can do here. So, you can start playing any rhythm you want. Okay? I'm playing the fifth string as the bass, and then I'm arpeggiating the chord, slapping if I want to. Okay? Just bass, chord, slap, chord. And then bass, and then I arpeggiate the chord, and then again. I use this as kind of a basis for everything I do. Okay? Which is what we played in the previous video. Five to three and then pull off the slide. And then two slide to three twice. Okay? Or just once. Okay? And then... Okay? Then you continue playing. Now you can... You can... You can use your fingers to solo. Okay, you can do okay, anything. Okay, anything you want to play. But we're going to concentrate on slides. So you have your fingers free. You can yeah, you can solo if you want with the same fret. But if you want to use the slide um, as um, as a soloing tool then five and three are your best friends, okay? Slide music revolves around blues a lot, okay? And sometimes you add the major chord notes, but just sometimes, most slide music uses frets three, okay? Which is the blues fret, right? Okay? And you can, you can play, okay? You can play, okay, the G chord the open strings and then slide into three on strings one and two and then move up to five because when you play three okay, you're playing actually the seventh you're playing G7 okay, and then you can go up to five so um, when you play five okay the whole fret it becomes C and when you play seven it becomes D so this is what you do you play solo licks over five and three okay you can slide okay five to three and pull it off and then slide to three on the next string okay I played the third and then and then I played the fourth slide to three Okay, from two to three, and then the open third string again. Or you can play double stops. You can play. Okay, you can play both strings, three and four. Okay, and then you can play a double stop on strings four and five. And then, okay, so. Okay, now when you play it on your lap, you can see the strength, so you can land. 
okay? You can land a bit more uh, cleanly, but who says that everything has to be clean, okay? If you want a clean sound, playing it on your lap enables you to play a bit cleaner, but if you play, if you get into the groove, then you'll find the dirt, okay? The steel sound appealing, okay? I'm breaking it down for you, so it might sound a bit off, but if I get a little bit into the groove, okay, you see? gives it a little bit of a, um, of a slide sound. I, I, can't, I can't describe it far as well. Okay, it, it's gritty. It's gritty. That's the word I was looking for. So after you do, okay, after you do a few licks on five and three, two to three on all different strings, okay, then move to five. Okay, and then, okay, and then when you move to five, you can play the fifth string okay, as your uh, bass note because that's C now. And so, okay, so the the way to play around with the chord is to slide it down one fret and back up. Okay, okay, and you just arpeggiate. You just experiment with it. You slide down on one string, then play a different string and slide back up. Okay. Okay, now don't worry if it sounds too steely. Okay, because again, as I proved to you, once you get into the groove, the steely sound becomes the, the sound that you're going for. Okay, so uh, if you want to hear it a bit cleaner, okay, I'm gonna try. Okay, so you can. Okay? You can slide it down to the 4th fret and then slide it back to the 5th. Okay? And then it's the same thing with the 7th fret okay? from C to D. Okay? But um, you'll want to go back to G. You, you want to play it around a G blues framework. Uh, which means G, C, G, C if you want or just G, C, G and then D, C, G. So, okay, you can also do, okay, you can, okay, you can play, okay, you can play around with your fingers as well, okay, and so on and so forth. You can play with frets two and three, and you'll get that bluesy framework. You can kick and slide on the bass as well, okay, and then play the fifth string, which is your G bass, uh, because the D string is D, um, the D string is D, the, the, the sixth string is D, uh, so tautology much, um, so you can do, okay, so when you want to go to D, you can actually play the sixth string, and then use seven as your next chord. You can use the chromatic line that I showed you on the previous lesson. You can do four, five, six, seven. Okay? And pull off the slide. Okay? Okay, you can slide into it. Okay, and then, and then you have the sixth ring open, so just don't, don't put the slide over it. Okay? And then... Okay, so just play rhythm with it and then remember to just every note you play slide into it even if you just plan on staying on that note okay okay just from six to seven that's enough okay just take it down okay and then slide back up on the next string that's okay that's all there is to it okay it's all a matter of getting used to the movement itself. Okay? And then, obviously, uh, when you want to go back to G, just... Okay? Then just slide back down from 5 to 3, open the strings, and you're back to G. Now, from D to C, I don't have to tell you, you can go from 7 to 5. Okay? Any way you want it, you can do chromatics. Okay, you can 
Okay, you can slide into six and then slide down. Right? And then you can use 12 as an emphasis anytime you want. Okay, just randomly, just play 12. Okay, now I'm gonna put it all together for you, uh, but before I do, I want to remind you that there are now two weekly lessons here on Lick and Riff, thanks to you uh, who made this possible, the people who support me on Patreon, the kind people who are generous enough to give back to Lick and Riff. So thank you very much, and you, the people who purchase my courses, my 10 course Complete Guitar Freedom course series. You can find the links below in the description if this is news to you, to the Patreon page and the courses page, lickandriff.com slash courses. Go check them out. I have 10 courses on offer, ear training, rhythm mastery, fingerstyle toolbox, fingerstyle arrangement, and so on and so forth. Just check them out, and um, thank you very, very much for whatever you choose to give back to Lick and Ref. Everything goes right back into making you your lessons. So uh, one more thing before we continue. You can actually just hammer on the slide um, on some licks. You can do... Okay, now if this sounds too gritty for you, just like the dog scratching, you can try it on lap. Okay, you can just hammer on the slide. Okay, as long as you slide into the chromatics, you hammer on two, and then you hammer on two to three, and then you hammer on three to four. Okay, and don't be afraid of the, the, the slide hitting your guitar. Okay, it's the sound you're supposed to get. Okay, the same thing from four to seven. Okay, just, just try it. Works better for me on lap uh, for some reason. Now remember, you can also, okay, you can also solo on the bass. Okay, try all sorts of combination. Okay, also on the bass frame. C, go back to G, and then... Okay, and then you, go, you can go back to 12. Now, I uh, kind of got out of, uh, out of my, my head for a second there because I wanted to tell you something. Um, there's no fixed sequence to the chords. I told you to remain around a bluesy framework. You don't have to do that. You can play G for an hour. You can then move to C, you can move from C to D, you can move from D to C, you can move to different chords. Okay, you can do A, 10, 12, you can do anything you want. Okay, the bluesy framework is just to get yourself into it. Okay, um, so slide doesn't have to be blues. Okay, you can do two and four if you want a major uh, scale. Okay. 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 So you can mix. You can do. You can do uh, two and three, and then you can do two and three and end on four. Four. Now, I like the steely sound, I like the gritty sound. If you don't like it, if you want it cleaner, just use your forefinger to mute. Okay, I just, I, I do it when I, when I play it as a lap. Okay. sound. Uh, when I play it upright I like to I, I like to get gritty. So okay. 
right? I like this, the steely sound. So play it however you like it. And I will see you the next lesson where we're gonna play slide and open D. And uh, in the meantime, you subscribe to Lick and Ref if you haven't already. There are hundreds of lessons waiting for you and I will see you the next lesson. Bye for now, enjoy.